we need to do all we can to enliven our awareness and to spread our dissension. Okay, the one final point that I wanted to make is do not go for individual uh, energy production because you're feeding it back into the grid, you're feeding it back to the government, you're feeding it back into the system. What we need to do is set up energy cooperatives in our towns, in our areas where we supply our own electricity, which generates jobs, which helps the local economy and makes us resilient in the face of a very uncertain future. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here with our second day first with John Thank you very much. Did you want to put your hand up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, About the contamination state. Oh, yeah, Hinkley Point, that's right. Well, all, what we did at Hinkley Point is we, um, and none of you will know this, but when, when they decided to build this nuclear power station there, they had to produce an environmental impact statement. And in this environmental impact statement, there was a lot of data which when we looked at the data, my colleague, uh, well, no, my friend, Cecily Collingridge and I, we found that it showed the, the presence of enriched uranium. And uh, <coughs> so what happened was there was, a, we, we said this, and we said that, that you know, that this environmental impact statement was wrong. And so there was a big, well, one of the big inquiry, the Environment Agency came along and made some measurements and they said, no, we were wrong. So it was a bit of a fuss, really. Um, and at the moment it does seem as if the council has now given a, a go-ahead for the building of this nuclear power station, whether there's enriched uranium or depleted uranium there or whatever. It's almost certain that the site is contaminated. The level of contamination is not very high. So, you do, I mean, I don't think you have to worry about it from the point of view of contamination. The point was to argue that their environmental impact statement showed that this that nuclear power station had been contaminating the local area, which is absolutely silly, because obviously we know that it is. We've got data from the United Nations that show that they produce all sorts of radionuclides, and they've got to go somewhere, and they're most likely to be there in the local environment. And when you look there, there they are. So it was just mainly a way of trying to stop them from developing than, than to say that it was like a huge problem for people who lived in that area, because very close to the nuclear power station where we were looking. Having said that, there is no question that people live in that area are likely to have a higher risk of cancer and leukemia and other illnesses because of the radionuclides coming from that plant. And we know that from other studies that we've done at <coughs> Burnham-on-Sea. But Burnham-on-Sea is a little town just downwind of Hinkley Point, about 10 kilometres. And there's a high, higher than normal level, a significantly higher normal, uh, uh, than normal level of breast cancer there. Also leukemia and also infant mortality. So the stuff coming out of this nuclear site is killing people that live downwind of it. And we shouldn't be surprised about that because many studies have been done near nuclear sites which show the same thing in the United States and in Europe. Well, yes, our all we can do with our studies is put pressure on the, on the, um, on the authorities, and that's what we do. But, you, know, you know, the problem is, with all of us greenies, really, and has always been the case, is that we, we know all of these things, and we say all of these things, and they just ignore us. So the question is, then, what do you do? It's very depressing, really. So what I think we do is, the kind of we, we use every piece of ammunition that we've got, every piece of shit that we can find, we pick up and throw it. Every piece of analysis that we can do that shows they're wrong, we do it. We get it into every sort of newspaper and in any sort of media outlet that we can. We need tribunal! Yes. Tribunal we need! Oh, Christian tribunal! Well, we tribunals and so forth, but as far as Hinkley Point is concerned, I think we're doing quite a good job at the moment to stop them, and the best job will be when using this evidence, and, and with leaflets saying these things, about Burnham-on-Sea, about the leukemia, about the contamination, is we just go and lock ourselves onto the power station so nobody can come in or out, and we just sit there until they give up. Thank you very much.